Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, go ahead and uh, do, do this, uh, do now. Uh, number your sheet numbers one through 10. Yeah, and uh, just put those numbers down. We've got a little challenge for you today. It's really not a challenge, shouldn't be a challenge. Just a little refresher. Okay, so one to 10, if you need to pause it, pause it. And um, I want you to tell me um, um, if the bulb is going to light up, yes or no. So all you need to write is a yes or a no. That or a sense. Y or an N. Okay, one, two, yes or no. Yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. Yes or no, yes or no, yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. Yes or no, yes or no. So pause this and uh, go through, take a look at these, use what we've uh, been talking about, and yes or no, will the bulb light? Okay, so you should be done, and you can just give yourself, uh, you know, your own score here. Were you right? So, you know, give yourself one point for each one that you got right. Um, one point if you said no, one point for no, one point for yes, one point for no, for yes, yes, no, no, yes, yes. Okay. So, three, five, six, nine, and ten are yes. One, two, four, seven, and eight are no. And why is that again? So uh, our yeses all have something in common. Their circuit is completed. So as we leave the battery on this end, it goes in the side and out to the bottom. Yep. As we leave the battery on one side, we go in the bottom, out the side. Yep. Okay, um, let's see. Yeah, two parts of the battery, two parts of the yeah. bulb. In the bottom, out the side. So we either gotta go in the side and out the bottom or in the bottom, out the side. That's right. right? Um, all right, so that's, that's all there is to it. How'd you do? Okay. Hopefully you did all right. You might see this again later. Okay. Uh, oh, wrong way. Okay. Um, ah, our lovely equation for current. Okay, so current um, is charge Q over time. And this is also... It's, we also a, it's call a rate. Here. Charge can flow fast or slow, and that's electrical current. Kind of reminds me of speed a little bit. Well, absolutely. It's right? a rate. Yeah, because speed is just distance over time, but how, it's how it's how fast you go over a, how fast you go a certain distance. This yep. is just how much charge um, moves in a certain amount of time. Flows past a point in yeah. a circuit. Okay, so um, what are you doing when you charge your cell phone? You know that important part of your life. Mm -hmm. It's almost a part of you. What do you physically. What do you mean? It's like you're charging. Why do you even ask that question? I can't wait till we get the microchip. No, <laughs> okay, so what are you doing when you charge your cell phone? Okay, we're gonna switch gears. A cell phone charger is plugged in for 25 minutes and transfers 300 coulombs of charge. How much current flowed? What was that equation for current again? Okay, well, current was uh, charge over time. <clears throat> what do we have over here? We have, our time is 25 minutes. Yeah. Okay, and then transfers, oh, thank you. Our charge is 300 coulombs. Can we use minutes? No, because coulombs, uh, current is ampere, which is coulombs per second. So we have to have the time in seconds. 60 times 25, do you know that one, Blinken? No, uh -uh. 60 well, six times, times two is 12. That's about 18. 15. 1500. That's how good I am. Seconds. <laughs> so the charge is 300 coulombs. Okay, so my charge is 300 coulombs divided by my time, which is 1500 seconds. That looks like 15. one fifth. Two, 300 divided by 1500. Point two! Miss Moore does it! Okay, so what are my units here? Well, coulombs per second is an ampere. Okay, uh huh. So, point 0.2 amperes. We're going to come back to this unit. Re recognize that these are the same thing. Yep, yep. Okay. So, how much current flowed? Point 0.2 amperes. Okay. Um, a, a cell phone battery is rated at 2200 milliamps per hour. What That's does, milliamp hours. What does that mean? Sorry, milliamp hours, not per hour, just milliamp hour. I'm gonna erase this, is that a, that's all right, Blinken, right? We don't need this. Keep the I over Q, is yeah. Q over T, yeah, but the but rest of that we don't need. I'm gonna get rid of this, just so I have a little bit of room to work with. We yeah. will need to keep the result of this though. Yeah, okay, so. What is a milliamp? What is a milliamp? Well, um, so if I have 22, let me put it over here. If I, sorry, I'm this. Okay, so I have 2,200 milliamps. Um, for my people who like to see the math, 
okay? A thousand milliamps and one amp. I, probably, I won't ask you to do something like this on a test, but we're just gonna go ahead, when we, div when we divide by a thousand, it shows one, two, three. That's so 2.2. 2.2 amp hours. Amp times hours, okay. So. Um, what is an hour? An hour, is that, that's time, right? You know what, that's right. We've got current times time. Yeah, because amps is, is current, right? Yeah. And hours is time. What's I? Wait a minute. It. 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 Okay, so this is we can figure out. What's the question asking? What does this mean? Well, we can figure out what the charge is here. That's the right? capacity, the charge capacity of a battery. How much? charge it can flow out one end and into the other okay so if it if it's rated at 2200 milliamp hours how much charge is flowing in that amount and that how much charge can it flow well we got 2.2 amps 2.2 amps that's our current how many seconds in an hour though because um, we gotta have seconds uh we're gonna it's uh 300 and 3,000, no. Six times six is 36. 60 times 60 is... 3,600. Three, 3, That's right. <laughs> so 3,600 seconds. Okay, so 2.2 times that number right there. Did you guys understand how I got that that seconds? Okay, so 7,920 7, 7, amps per second. Wait, what's an amp again? Coulomb per second. It's a coulomb per second. Times seconds. So it's just a coulomb. And that's so, charge, right? <clears throat> yeah, so your cell phone battery is rated at 2200 milliamp hours. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. That means it has a capacity of 7920 coulombs. Yeah, um, cool. A smaller battery would uh, run out of charge earlier. Mm -hmm. A larger battery would have more charge in it. It's all about that battery life, right? Yep. Right? When you buy your new phone, this one has a better battery life, Miss Moore. Okay. And that's so what they're talking about. It can hold up to that much, that much charge. It has yes. that much capacity. Okay. If your charger is rated at 0.3 amps, how long will it take to fully charge a this many milliamp hour. So what are we trying to solve for here? T time, right? How long? Okay. So going back to our equation. Okay, let me go back to my, my OG equation here. Okay, with time here. If we want to cap find time, let's just go ahead and boy and flip these bad boys. So that's going to be, that's going to be, I want to write it down here. No, okay. So time equals charge over, so time goes up here, charge goes down here. Um, Okay, so uh, the charge is seventy nine twenty coulombs. Yeah, we just got that right here. So seven nine twenty coulombs. But our what is our 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 charger rated at now? How many? Point three coulombs? amps. So point three amps. So that's how much current we have. Okay. So um, if your charger is point three amps, seven, uh, answer divided by point three. I get uh, 26,400 seconds. Okay, 26,400 seconds. Divide that by 60. Amps, uh, this is a coulomb per second. So you can see how the coulombs cancel oh, yeah. out. We're left with seconds here. Um, divided by 60 in order to get, oh yeah, because that's Because that's seconds. That's seconds, oh we want minutes, that's what you're saying. So 440 minutes, that's a lot of time. 440 minutes, divide that by 60 again. We want to find out how many hours that's going to be. This is seconds, minutes, divide by 60, and we get uh, 7.3 hours. That's ridiculous, I'm not waiting guys, that long. Yeah, do you guys have 7.3 hours to hang out for that long? And now let's take a look at this one. Here's this <clears throat> iPhone charger. Okay. They always write that in made right here input 0.15 amps that's the input what's the output okay output is five volts one amp one amp one, one amp. amp so that's one amp so if if you're using this charger then you're gonna have uh it would be one amp right here right yeah one amp so it would be this number right here. So this one becomes, coulomb per second. I'm going to tell you that 7,920 mm, coulombs. 7,920 coulombs. If I divide it by 60, I get 132. Divide by 60. That's going to be a little over two hours. 2.2. Not bad, right? Volume, yeah. So 
Yeah, you, you want a, a, a better charger than this. Now, Mr. Boykin is an old man, and he made this slide a long time ago when... Dinosaurs were on the Who and right? dinosaurs were... <laughs> no, just kidding. Yes. That's what I tell my parents. <laughs> okay. All right, so uh, you want you want a charger that is rated at, you know, enough amps, but not too many amps that it catches on fire, right? That's, That's right. It'll get okay. them hot. Okay, so you measure 84 milliamps flowing in a circuit. How much charge flows if you measure for 15 seconds? Boys and girls, do this on your own. We, we did it a moment ago. Give this a shot. Now, Ms. Moore is going to show you if you've done it right or wrong, but you give this a shot yourself. Oh, I need that still. <laughs> Milliamps, the units of current, and you got to move the decimal three place to make it into amps. And seconds are the units of time. Milliamps, which equals 1, 2, 3, 0, 8, 4 amps. Uh, what else is up there? Okay. 15 seconds. Time is 15 seconds. So how do you solve that equation for time? Uh, for charge? I beg your pardon. It's it. It. Okay. Charge is it. And it is I is 0.084 amps times 15 seconds. No, it's broken. I don't remember. On the test, will we make them convert? I don't uh, I don't no. Uh-uh. So if you're like, <laughs> it's okay. However, in the real world, conversions have to be made. Yep. 1.26 coulombs. 1.26 coulombs. All right. Cool. Okay. So how much charge flows? That much charge? What's a coulomb? Coulomb is... What's our definition? 6.25 times 10 to the 19 electrons. Yeah, it's electrons, right? It's electrons flowing. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, ammeter. Okay, so that's our symbol for ammeter. Uh, ammeter measures current, um, which is what we've been, we've been talking about. Yeah. And um, must be part of the circuit uh, in the flow. Now, remember, yesterday we, we introduced this idea, and here's an actual ammeter right here. And we're going to use it again today. All right. Um, the, I think we should go over here, right? So the ammeter has three red posts. Okay, one, two, three. Um, uh, has three red posts and three scales on the dial. One, two, three. Um, can you tell which goes with which? We got post 5505. And you look all the way on the right there, and there's 555. I don't, I, I'm like, why didn't you just put it in a row? Like, fi like 550, 500. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so, yeah, you just have to figure out what are you plugged into. Look over here, and that's the line you want to use. We're going to be using the top line. Well, the question go uh, that I would ask is, Guinness mas macho? <laughs> and that is... The 50 amp is the little willy, wimpy guy, 500 milliamps is even more, and then 5 amperes is a heck of a lot of current. Okay, so, um, but, oh, that's a good point. So they're not all in um, milli, like, so these ones are in milliamps, so even though 500 is bigger, this is an amp, this is a milliamp, so, ampere, sorry. So, um, so the 5 is actually the biggest. Yeah, and we, yeah. Won't, we will never use amps in Yeah. It. Okay, so uh, ho hook up a simple circuit with a bulb, one battery, and an ammeter. Remor uh, record how much current. Should I draw this on the board first? I think so that's a good idea. Like, I think that's important. Yeah, let's get a visual of what we want it to look like first. Because, you know, I don't know about you guys. Some of you guys might have some experience with circuits, but I I'm going to bet that many of you also don't. So this kind of stuff at first is just alien. Okay, so what's our battery sign? That's it. Short line, long line. Short line, long line. Long line for positive, one line for negative. Okay. And what does it want? Hook with simple circuit with a bulb. Okay, so I'll put our bulb right here. Why? I don't know. Uh, one better than an ammeter. I'm gonna do it in pink, actually. And you know what? I'm just gonna put it on the other side, just because yesterday we put it on this side. So I'm gonna put it on this side today. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and connect these guys. It's not a circuit unless it's connected. In the flow. 
Bada boom. Bada boom. So okay. there's our circuit. So we want to copy this over here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just start from scratch here. All right, so we've got our battery. And again, the positive side has a little bump. Yep. Okay, so that's the positive side. And we want to be going out of the negative into the positive, just like before. Okay, so I'll connect this over here. I'm going to put my bulb right there. And then I want my ammeter in the flow, so I'm going to go ahead and connect this here. I always connect, it always goes into the black side and then out the red side. That's electrons. That's electrons. It sure is. And don't forget how what Mr. Boykin talked about. We've got a part of the middle on the bottom here um, and then a part on the side here, yep. right? Because it goes in the side, up to the bulb, and then out the bottom. Okay, and then I would complete the circuit over here. What are we doing with this? Record. Record how much current. Sir, yes, yeah, sir. Okay, so, whoa. Okay, so I've got this here. What does it say that? Bulb comes on, and I'm going to call that 190 milliamps. 100, and oh, do you see the bulb too? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> so 190 milliamps or 0 0.190 amps, if you will, right? One, yep. two, three. Um, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I think my mouse is over here. <clears throat> okay. Oh, you know what? Let's uh, turn that battery around before we go to oh, the yeah. next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so before, this is the right, this is the way it just was right here, right? Okay, 0 0.90 milliamps. What happens if I take the battery and we flip it around? Let's find out. Okay, so now, you see that? Goes in the, now the needle goes down. Yeah, what the heck? Let me flip it around, let's do it the okay. other way. Okay. Ah, back to where we started. What does that mean? So, um, it, let's talk about the direction. Um, so electrons flow out of the negative and into the positive. And yep. th as it reads, this thing recognizes that direction. Yep. Now, if we flip it, electrons are still flowing out of the negative into the positive this way, but now the current is basically flowing backward. So it reads it backward, yep. right? And, <clears throat> you know, we don't have any, we don't have it over here. What, what will happen sometimes is the zero will be in the middle. Yep. And the needle will go, we'll read it like this. You could read current in either direction. Yeah, but we just, we don't have that version of the, amp, of the ammeter. So this so, ammeter not only tells you how much current, but also signifies the direction of current. Yeah. And, you know, we, we always want to be able to read it because of the type of ammeter that we have with the electrons going this way. And how do you know um, which way is the right way? Well, I mean, the, 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 the bulb lights up either way, right? Because yeah. current's flowing through. Well, that's um, what the colors are for, isn't it? Um, the, the red and the black on the oh, ammeter. Exactly, right? So you want to, you want the negative side over here. Okay, it doesn't matter what color this thing is. This is just any old yeah. color. But you want to have it, you want to have the, um, the, this, this be on the same side as the, the black side of the battery, yep. the negative side of the battery, okay? All right, I hope that's making sense. <laughs> okay, it just, it gives you the direction there. If you flip the battery, the current, the ammeter will be going the other direction. Um, all right. So now add a second battery. What changes do you observe? Let's draw a second diagram over well, here. What, what would two batteries look like, boys and girls? Guess. Okay. There's one battery. Oh. Somebody left the top mm -hmm. off that one. Follow me. Okay, so one, two. Two batteries. Okay. And then, so we've got this here. Our ammeter's still in the same spot over here all right okay ba -da 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 -da. okay so what do you think will happen boys and girls what's going to be different when we go from one battery to two okay so how do we set this up okay like this Okay, the positives. This thing is here. Okay, uh, show them one bat. Show them one battery first, then okay. we'll go to two. Good idea. So here we go. So. All right. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Two batteries. Whoa! Whoa. Look how much brighter the bulb is. Look at the bulb. And that's uh, oh, about two hundred and ninety ohms. I beg your pardon. Two hundred ninety amperes. Two hundred amps. Okay. 
So now, so more or less. That's in the entire class grams. More, Miss Moore. Uh, so 290 uh, milliamps or 0.290123 amps. Amperes. Amperes. Did you predict that would happen when you had a second battery? It's more. Woohoo! More, more battery, more current. Okay. All right. So what changes did you observe? We have more current. We have more battery. Cool. What is a volt? Volt. Volt. Volt, 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 volt. Okay. So a volt is the unit of electrical potential difference. We saw this yesterday. Yeah, well, we saw it in the previous unit on the electrical field. That oh, was yeah, the uh, change in, well, I'll tell you that the next we'll slide. We'll go on the next slide here. So it is the electrical potential difference, kind of like gravitational potential difference. Same yep. idea. Okay, so how did we hook up the voltmeter with the electron pump and capacitor? Do you guys remember that? Do we, we don't have a capacitor out here. But we, we hooked it up. Our capacitor was blue, right? Yeah. And it had those two little knobs on it like that. Mm -hmm. Right? And we had <clears> our, our circuit flowing through, doing its thing. Oh, uh, had the electron pump down. You had the electron pump. I don't know what the that? symbol for the electron pump would be. <laughs> Something like that, right? Okay. And we added the voltmeter like this, right? Yes, we did. Okay. From one side to the other. Okay, so um, so how do we hook it up? Um, the voltmeter measures uh, uh, measures the difference in the potential, the voltage, yeah. and it must be wired across the element. Okay. Yeah, from one side to the other. It's not in the flow like the ammeter. You're not measuring current. You want to measure the difference in electrical potential energy from one point to another in a circuit. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at a voltmeter here. So we have one out for you guys. La, da, da. Here it is, okay. So here's our voltmeter, V for volt, A over here for ampere. Uh, for ampere. Um, and question for you, can you figure out what scale to use on a voltmeter? Okay, so uh, what's it plugged in down here? You got okay. three. 15 and what is that one? 300. 300. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And so as we look over here, the three one is in the middle. So that means that we're going to be using the middle one right here. Yeah, we're gonna, okay. We got it plugged into the three volt post. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and boys and girls, let's see. What is it say on here somewhere? somewhere. Oh, 1.5 volts. Ooh la la. Okay, so you know what we're gonna do? So let's use the voltmeter to measure the potential difference across one battery and then two batteries, yeah? <clears throat> okay. Okay, so let's start with one battery. Oh, how do we hook this up? And then we, let's add it into the uh, thing real quick. So we said that we have to add this across the element, right? Yes. So this is the element we're gonna be, oh wait, the battery, sorry, right here. So we're, should I add this in right now? Yeah, why not? Okay, so we're gonna measure the voltage right here and right here. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing from this side of the battery to this side of the battery. That's what we're fixing to do, boys and girls. Mm -hmm. Okay. So <clears throat> don't forget all these uh, mumble jumbled, uh, all these mumble jumbled wires here. The black side goes out, the, comes out of the negative side. And then the other side is the red one. Okay, here we go. Ready? And go. go. Oh. About 1.5 volts, just what the battery said. 1.5. Should I do the next one Let's here? Let's do two of them. Okay. What do you think it's going to be, boys and girls? And predict. Three volts. Wow, it's, it's oh, a little bit. Even a little more than three <laughs> volts, but there's no lines to read it on. Okay. So for this one, it was 1.5 volts. And then this one was... So when you add one battery after another, it adds the voltage. So Oh, okay. So how much was one battery? What did it say on there, Blake? 1.5 volts. Okay. So uh, the battery said 1.5 volts, and we measured how many, what the potential difference, the electrical potential difference was, the voltage was yeah. across it, and it said 1.5. Yep. So, so they weren't lying. Says. Although we've got some old batteries back there that are mm -hmm. years old that will not measure 1.5. Okay, so what is next? Oh, wrong way. 
All right. Draw a simple circuit with a bulb battery and a voltmeter wide across the bulb. So if you haven't done it yet, let's add a voltmeter. Across the bulb right here. Okay, so we're gonna figure out how many volts go here. And then same thing right here. That is ugly. That's also ugly, but we'll let the slide. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that, yeah? So, hey, does it have us, what does it have us do in the next slide? Draw a simple, let me see real quick. Flow, current through your circuit, use a voltmeter to measure. Oh, 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 sorry, yeah. Okay, so we just did this. We draw the simple circuit and we measured the, um, uh, the, sorry, we drew in the, the voltmeter there. Across the bulb okay. this time. Now, Flow current through your circuit. Sir, yes, sir. Use the voltmeter, that's that guy, to measure the potential drop across the bulb. So, Boykin, what is this going to look like here? So, we've got. Well, it's going to look like what you've got drawn exactly. in your circuit. Right, we've got this all set up right here, and we'll connect this when, when we're ready. Yeah. Um, but let's go ahead and connect this over here. Now, don't forget, this is the negative side. Okay, we're coming through, and there's not a lot of room for me to work with on this one. <laughs> Uh, like that. Okay, and then this guy goes over there, and so that's gonna measure the how uh, the electric potential difference between this side and this side of battery. If they don't have a key, they're not coming in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's do so, one battery first. Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay, so here we go. You ready for booking? Go. Uh, that's about 1.25 volts. Okay, 1.25. I'm going to write that on the board real quick. So 1.25 volts. Write it down. 1.25. Okay. What Let's do you expect will happen when we go to two batteries, boys and girls? Okay. You ready, boys? Oh, 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 wait a minute. I just... See the little fragile guy? He's barely hanging on there. Okay, nice. All right, ready? And oh, some more is not touching it. Uh, oh, there it is. That's going to be about two point six five. And then, how, what about that that two bulb? Points. Well, it's much brighter. Okay, two point six five. You said? Yeah. Okay. Two point six five. Two point six five. And in case you were wondering, this one is, you know, a little bit of brightness. And this one was like, oh, yeah. Right? Great, Great observation. Very scientific. Great observation. You know, okay. you should put those little shiny things around your diagram. I forgot my glasses over here. Okay. So let's see what else we got here. Oh, come on. Okay. So a volt is how many joules of potential energy difference for one coulomb of charge between one place and the other. So okay. which had a larger difference in potential energy? Well, this is a larger number. This one's a larger difference in potential energy. Yeah. Right? Okay, so it's how many joules of potential energy? Uh, Don't hang on a second. Let's talk about this for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so what does the battery do to the charge that's flowing through it? It pumps it up. It gives it the gives it the power, gives it the strength, and then the char electron flows through Dang here. It. And what happens to the electrical pot energy of the charge from as it goes through the bulb? It gets used up. It it drops. Now it doesn't get used up. It gets converted into heat and light. Yeah, yeah. Right. I guess you're right. Not not used up. Don't forget. Okay. Heat yeah, we're light. getting heat, heat and light. light. Okay. And so that electron that's in one side pumped up is tired when it comes out the other and that's uh 1.25 volts and if i remember correctly a volt is joules per coulomb mm -hmm. so 1.25 joules per coulomb and that's what we're saying up there right yeah. so volt equals joules per coulomb and that's, what we say yeah <clears throat> like this right joules for every coulomb and what about over here with a bright bulb well over here our voltage is going to be 2.65 joules. Don't forget, joules is energy. It's work, right? Yep. 
Um, well, that works. For every coulomb a charger goes through, 2.65 joules. It's got more energy over here. It's got 2.65 joules for every coulomb less energy when it comes out the other side. And what's our coulomb? Well, it's electric. It's charged, yep. right? Okay, so I'm going to go to my next slide here. Well, oh, actually, let me go back here. Um, a volt is how many joules of potential energy, sorry, of, of potential energy difference for one, it's almost like a one right there, coulomb of charge between one place and the other. So here on the top of the bulb, electrical energy is being converted to heat and light, so it's got less energy after it comes through. Mm -hmm. What's the battery doing? Uh, what do you mean? Well, <clears throat> we're getting one and a half volts of potential energy difference across the battery. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? What's the battery doing to the charge? Oh, it's charging it back up. It's giving it energy. <gasps> it's giving <clears throat> yeah. energy. So chemical energy in the battery is converted into electrical energy. So oh. you got a tired electron coming in. It's like you at night when you're all worn out after a hard day of whatever you are doing. And then you wake up in the morning, you have something to eat. And you got a good, you all pumped up, ready to go. Mm -hmm. And then you go through the day, get wore out, go back to the battery, and the whole thing starts over again. It's like a metaphor for sleep. Okay. <laughs> all right, so um, why is the bulb brighter with two batteries? Why is the bulb brighter with That's two batteries? That's a good question. Okay, electrical power. You guys have heard of this power. Yeah. Um, electrical power is found by multiplying how much current is flowing across current. Um, how much current is flowing across how much potential difference. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sentence. Okay, so it's found by multiplying the current that's flowing across whatever we're talking about and the potential difference that's flowing across that. that and element. we've got some data here. We can <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Such a good. Okay. So, so we've got the current mm -hmm. and we've got the potential difference. So can we calculate the power for this? Is that what you want to do, Boykin? Yeah, power is going to be IV. Okay. Intravenous. IV. So that's going to be 0. 0.190 amps times. And then what's our. How come, I can use, how come I can use this current, Boykin? It's not <clears> like. Me is this measuring that exactly? Yeah. Right? Yeah. This 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 amp is ammeter is in the flow of the current. So how much current we measure here is how much current it has here, right? It's an excellent point. Okay, That's so That's an excellent point. So I've got current here. What's my voltage across here? 1.25. Okay. Calculator time. Okay, so 0.190. Oh, that's an answer. 0.190 times 1.25. 1.25. And I get We're going to call that 0.24. 0.24, it's about a quarter of a watt. Power equals 0.24, and you guys have heard that watts before. Yeah, we, we, we did, we spent a lot of time yeah. on it, so. Okay, watt. so now let's do the same thing for the bright bulb. Okay. We should get a bigger number. Okay, so current over here is 0 0.290 amps. And what is my voltage over here? 2.65 volts. Yeah. So notice we got more current and we have more electrical potential difference. It's not just like one's going up, they're both going up. Okay, so I get 0. 0.77 watts. That's three times brighter. Ouch. Okay, so, um, so if we can, let's take a look at our equation right here. What, so when something has more power, that means it's more bright, right? Yep. Woohoo. Oh, I like where you're going with this. Well, what is yeah. current? What is an ampere that's coulombs per second, right? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, yeah, talk me through because I was thinking about something different, but go ahead and talk <clears> me through this. I is coulombs per second, and volt is joule per coulomb. Mm -hmm. So Coulombs cancel. Power is joules per second, mm -hmm. which is a watt. Which is a watt. What? Okay. And um, I also want to show you guys, so if power is brightness... It's just joules per second. Um, what if, um, you know, what if the voltage was the same for both of them? And we increase the current. Well. Do you want to talk about this? No. Okay. No, because you're getting in, I'll, I'll use the word resistance. And we don't want to tell them about resistance yet. Okay, okay, okay. We'll pause for a second. Yeah. Um, We'll come back to that later. Okay. However, that is an excellent point that we should make later. Yeah, I, w I was just thinking about how more current, more power, more bright, or 
You know, what if makes you could only have right? one going on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll get more complicated later, boys and girls. Well, I promise. Um, okay, so I, let me see what we got next on here. I think that's I think all that's we got. Slide. Okay, so your homework today is page 511, numbers 1 through 4. Page yeah. 511, 1 through 4. And you might want to read through this example problem. It's a really good example problem. It shows what's going on. It shows you how to do it. Shows how to check your answer and then do those four practice problems. You guys got it? Boom!